Welcome to Primecast, episode 93. My yep. name is Jesse. My name is Wyatt. And something, you know what's, what I hate? What? Black Widow shortages. Okay. Um, let's keep that, let's keep the, uh, the Marvel Legends ball rolling. Because I wanted to talk about something. Yeah. Really quick. Because I didn't get anything this week, so this is my little spiel. So I've been playing with a figure recently. And I am, oh, I'm so disappointed in this figure. I've just come to to, to face that reality of this figure is oh. actually not all that great. Really? Yeah, and it's Black Cat. Oh, okay. Not Black Widow. Black Widow is still amazing. But Black Cat, man. You know what makes me most mad? She's more of a good display piece. Not even. She won't even stand up. <laughs> well, you, I mean, if you can get, yeah, well. It's true. It's like, your fucking feet are tiny. Dude, do you want to know what makes me most mad out of anything? What? Is, okay, remember how we would make jokes about her proportions? Yeah. Like, they sculpted her butt so, so dramatically large, it hinders her leg movement. I can't... <laughs> that makes me so mad. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't I, walk. My butt's too big. I know. Like, <laughs> and Black Cat is like, it, okay, the chest, whatever. That doesn't doesn't matter at all. It looks stupid. But like, seriously, <laughs> why? She she walks like a Barbie. Do, 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 do. Tiptoes along. Is my guinea pig squeaking coming through the microphone? Uh, yes, I heard. That's squeaky, Crowley. Squeaky, squeaky. Now I hear it actually talking. Yeah, hi Crowley. God, guinea pigs make such weird noises. I know, aren't they cute? I like him. His name's Crowley. He's all black. Okay, but you can stop squeaking now. Stop. Thank yeah. you. We acknowledge you existed. Thank you. I'll be quiet. The listenership enjoyed you. No. Mm-hmm. Step back. But yeah, I didn't get anything this week either. No, no, no. Pretty, we pretty slow week. Yeah. Uh, like I, I went to Target's like every day, trying to find somebody. Somebody did return a. Uh, I know it was returned. Someone returned a uh, uh, Winter Soldier, uh, not um, Captain America, mm-hmm. without without the uh, Mandroid part. <laughs> Why I would thought, you? I uh, thought that was funny. Like they valued more the part than the set of the figure, which was. Silly to me, but they whatever. probably they probably got the figure, and then like yeah, this is all right, I guess. And then they're like, well, I can live with that twenty bucks. Well, I I was at my Target, and I was just because what I had assumed because the thing I did last time of like oh I had like two of the Spider Mans on the shelf, I went back the next day, and bam, there was a whole new set. Mm-hmm. I figured that would happen for Captain America, and I, I did I that. Tried the same thing. I did it, and it didn't work, so I was like, alright, I did it for like three days, like, it, they were just like, him for three days, I was like, alright, I guess I'll put them back on the shelf, whatever, and then finally, after like three weeks, because the target is literally like, five minutes from my work, like a five minute walk, mm-hmm. and uh, so I just go in and check every day, and um, a- after a while, I was like, alright, can you guys check, can, do you have any more in the back, I'm like, yeah, no, we don't, and I'm like, alright, thank you, you saved me a bunch of minutes for the next week. I haven't even gone in since then. That's been like six days. And then I keep remembering, like, well, the case is coming back out in June, so you'll probably get the two you need. I need three I need. I need two I need. And it's a fit that that case is officially coming out in April now, according to the one website that I, that I should not mention. I can mention them, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. Fucking was supposed to be a February, then March, now April. What the fuck? But while well, some some special people got what little case uh, shipment they got in. Though I am going to check Entertainment Earth because I think they're running the same. Like they're they they at least just have not gotten them in at all, mm-hmm. as far as I know. Not you know that. Um. Oh, I want to talk about this too. Hold on. Mm-hmm. 
We're gonna talk about gotta talk about the thing. That's what you sound like. Our our new guest star is Harrison Ford. Wait, no, talking about for the show? Yeah. I put that in there. Well, f- okay. I, I just want to emphasize. I knew that. I just want to emphasize. This <laughs> oh, oh I know you know. I just <laughs> want to make sure you know. You know, because I, yeah. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, Entertainment Earth has not yet. Yeah. The, okay. the, the, the paint chipped on my spider girl. I saw Spider Girl the other day. The paint chipped on her face. Oh wow! Yeah, what so I had to fix that face? on her chin and on her nose, like she was in a really bad motorcycle accident. Because <laughs> the the yeah, because the the uh, the the plastic color underneath that is her hair color, so it looks like just like she needs skin grafts now. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean it's small enough. I can fix it. I just need to find the right hue. Uh, okay. So, uh, there's a gripe. There's kind of a major, kind of major, but also not too much of a complaint about uh, something I want to talk about is the they actually released a, like the official uh, Age of Extinction Wave 1 assortment. Yeah. Uh, wave, the Wave 1 Deluxes are two Scorns two slugs, two crosshairs, two high octane bulbuies. Uh Voyagers, two Evasion Mode Optimus Primes, two Grimlocks. Leader classes, one Optimus Prime, one Grimlock. And then there's the rest of the kid stuff, yeah. which I, yeah. There's not a single Decepticon in the first wave. I didn't, I didn't notice that, because for a second I was like, well, what's your point of contingency, because... You know, they're pretty equal assortments, but you're right. But we do, we did already know that at Toy Fair that Galvatron and Hound are Wave, are Wave 2. Mm-hmm. And we don't have any deluxe Decepticons yet, I believe. Well, I, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's just, it's, that's just so weird to me. Yeah. We don't really know if there's too many Decepticons even in this fucking movie. Like, there's two confirmed, right? Um, three. What's that? Galvatron, Lockdown, and what? Stinger. That Stinger's an Autobot. Mmm. I mean, he's in the same scene with Bumblebee in the trailer, and he looks just like Bumblebee. Well, the. Well, one, the toy list Stinger refers to him as Decepticon Stinger. Uh, two. He's, I'm pretty sure, man-made, and I think all the man-made robots are evil. And the fact that he's in the trailer with Bumblebee only insists that he's at the same, like, car motor show that he's at. Like, Why does he look just like Bumblebee? That's weird. Maybe Bumblebee scans him? Because, I mean, I don't know. Bumblebee... Yeah, I mean, yeah. 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 I mean, I can't tell you that one, but I, I would think he's a Decepticon. If he's not, that's weird. We need Decepticons. I thought unless, almost for sure he was an Autobot. Unless Lockdown is that big of a threat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I thought he was a Decepticon, so... Oh. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, mouthful of peanut butter. Mm. <laughs> Alright, um... Yeah, just a minor gripe, but I just think that's really bizarre. Um... We got a bunch of more pictures of Masterpiece Bumblebee. Ooh, I'm I'm not digging it anymore. I like it, but no. Why? It's way too fucking small. But for eighty bucks for a deluxe, cl- but for what's going to be basically a deluxe class figure. Well, here's the thing. Here's he, the thing. He, yeah, I know. I preface all of my defense with that, but it's true. He comes with. One, he is Masterpiece. I mean, there is that, like, no matter how you look at it, there's always going to be that. Two, and that, you know, that could be kludgy and kind of shitty, but that's how it is. But two, he comes with enough parts and enough figure between him and the exosuit that was the same price as Prowl. 
essentially, like roughly around. I think uh, Bumblebee is a little bit cheaper, but there's enough plastic and parts there the wa that way they can charge that much, even though it's not all inside the figure. I'm going to wait for the inevitable U.S. version. I don't think inevitable is the right word to use anymore. It's going to happen. Uh, we have a thing to talk about later. I know, and I have, so that's why. Well, I, I have an opinion. I have I have a differing opinion about that thing. So, eh. Wheeljack looks so good. In the scans, Wheeljack looks so good next to Optimus. Yeah. You're not wrong. I love Wheeljack. But yeah, Bumblebee looks cool. I, I'm getting Bumblebee because I have no willpower and... Yeah, that's about it. His uh, face changing gimmick is seeming a little bit uh, fidgety to me. Eh, maybe. I'd like him to come with a bunch of faces. But I, I'd like it if uh, that G1 toy face was on all of them. Is that Amazon exclusive? Yeah, Amazon Japan exclusive. Not cool. No, not so not cool. I mean, like what? It would cost him like what? Like, not even a cent to include that piece. Maybe a couple cents at most. No. I don't think it's worth the fucking make a big deal to make it exclusive just to have this silly face. It's but like, it's like with if, such uh, a simple face removal gimmick, third parties are going to eat that up. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, what kind of faces? What else, what other kind of faces would they make? Like dead face. Uh, Is that a cliff jumper head? No, it's not. No, no, it's not. Never mind. I'm on drugs. Yep, you sure are. Well, they can do a smiling face, a grouchy face. The, I mean, the standard face that it comes with. I can a high do face. The sad face. Drunk face. If they made a drunk face for Bumblebee, I'd get it. Just a face. Just a face. Mm hmm. Um. Roaring off of that, back into more masterpieces. Um, it's been confirmed that Masterpiece Prowl and Sunstorms are uh, going to be released in Toys R Us. Uh, Along with uh, Optimus Prime, then now two pack in the same uh, in the same idea that uh, Grimlock is getting, where the publicity photos have hybrid style G1 convoy and kind of a weird color for uh, Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. Okay, point of contingency time. Uh, so these are supposed to be placeholder images, mm -hmm. I'm sure, but. Here's the weird thing, is that Prowl image is the exact same as the Takara one, which is which isn't that big of a deal, like at all. That's not the big deal. Um, but two is that Sunstorm. That Sunstorm is not an official Sunstorm. That Sunstorm is a custom of the original MP03 mold. It has it. It's it's modded. The hip skirts are modded. It has the old head, old shoulders. Does it? And, yeah, and it's not the MP11. If they were to release one, they wouldn't release a modded MP03. It's an MP03, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so it's not the MP11 mold, and I would think they'd milk that. And they wouldn't just, you know, do custom mods on the MP03. It'd be either or. Wait, so that's I, weird. Didn't, I didn't notice this. Let me, uh... Yeah. Look at that. Look at the shoulders, look at the feet, look at the, the legs. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna keep going while you're while you're looking for it. That op that Optimus Prime two pack. This is the strongest one and one of the weakest ones because the evasion mode is a picture of evasion mode that we haven't seen yet. Um, it looks really weird. It almost like, looks like one of those kind of prototype figures that are just made of random ass colors. Yeah, which it very well could be if it's placeholder image. This is supposed to be internal database stuff, placeholders, not official product images. Now that evasion mode thing is the most, you know, concrete thing with this, the fact that this is an image we haven't seen yet, but the then Optimus Prime in this is hybrid style convoy, which is about the size of a Cyberverse. Yeah. And that parts count 
in I would not think that that figure would be able to be released in retail that easily. No, it's it's way that I had that figure for a while. That figure is way too small, way too fidgety. Too many pieces can fall off of that. Just in. But also, the vehicle mode, if I'm not mistaken, is the Battle Begins whatever 2-pack with that G2 Megatron and the really bad Optimus Prime that everyone hates. No. Is that is that hybrid style still? Yeah. Okay, because I, th- I never really messed with that vehicle mode. Because I saw that uh, uh, Optimus Prime, and I was like, okay, maybe they're using this truck mode, but then they're going to use that vehicle mode. Because, you know, or maybe it would actually be the deluxe one, but they use pictures of the hybrid style because the deluxe one does not photograph well. And they know, you know I'm not going to say they know people don't like it, but... People don't. I like it. For all the wrong reasons. You like it because it's shitty? So, okay. No, no not exactly. I like so it because it's one of my first collection pieces. The MP-03 had the hip... Uh, skirt things that kind of made it look like it had samurai swords, mm-hmm. and but these are mounted onto the side of the legs. Yeah, which is a mod you could do with that mold. But you could I, cut them all up. Okay, and, but and this is not the MP11. Yeah, this uh, is apparently somebody's custom from a while back. How's how how are we? Are you sure it's not MP11? Uh, let me. Someone's crying. What happened? I, I thought I guess I don't care. I'm looking at toys. This is more important. Like, how is uh, is it because of, like okay. the pieces on the shoulders? Um, the if you look at the head, the head is the thinner head, and the hands. The hands are just a tiny bit different. the The shoulders are different, and the feet. Let me look at MP11 here. Because I never had MP11. You have that one, don't you? Yeah, I have it three times over. You freak. Okay, yeah, I see that. And I have one of the MP03 molds. Yeah, and does it doesn't have those uh like those those that piece that's like on the shoulder shoulders on the side. That's weird. Yeah, yeah okay, I see. That is definitely I understand what what you're saying now, that is definitely a custom. Though, I think... I want to say the vehicle mode, though, of Sunstorm is the, uh... Is the e-hobby one? I think? Yeah, that looks pretty official to me. And it's that same granite counter they use for Masterpiece mm-hmm. photography. So, unless this is just a placeholder and they totally just up and stole somebody's <laughs> custom piece... A bunch of dicks. Yes, Jordan. Okay, go in your room. <laughs> no, you're not sitting on my lap right now. Go in your room and watch, watch the movie. Okay. Come on, come on, go on, Jordan. Alright, um... Got that, got that. Alright, now something that's a little bit more uh, uplifting for the new Transformers show, for me anyway, is that we got a, a, a new image of... I guess the show's just being called Transformers? That blows. That's what it looks like anyway? Well, I kind of thought Prime was a dumb title, so... Well, you're silly. I mean, it's a confusing title. True. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like, you get a new pose for Bumblebee, and in the background you see uh, what Optimus Prime will look like in the show, and he's kind of like a, a Obi-Wan Kenobi spirit in the back. And this is kind of like a... more of a Cybertron version... or Cybertron-esque version of his final Beast Hunters appearance. Mm. Which I, I dig I dig to look for. I do like it. Um, my only thing is I thought... I mean, spoiler alerts for the end of Prime. I, 
I thought Optimus was was D E D. Yeah, but is, yeah, so uh, but he is. That's why he's like kind of like a ghost. Yeah. Is he? Is it confirmed that he's a ghost in the show? Because I mean, this piece of imagery could be anything. Like he's you know. like faded. You can see all the way through him. Oh no, I, I noticed that. But I mean, it could be a piece of concept art. Or, I mean, you know, this could be anything. If you so can see know. through him, he's a ghost. That's my official. Rule. That's kind of dumb that he's a ghost. Yeah, well, they 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 Optus Prime is like. I guess is the biggest seller for um, series and movies or whatever. So I guess they haven't they needed him in there somehow. Hey, if it looks like animated and we get animated style toys, I'm alright with it. Yeah, I I'm I'm a little bit more optimistic about the show now. Of like, I mean, this 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 pose for Bumblebee that they do have here is a little bit better. Not as exaggerated. Well, they came out and said, "Well, this, the show's not going to look like this. This is in no way the final product of the show." And nah, 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 blah, nah, nah. blah 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 blah. Like, well, they I'm don't like, really oh, well. said shit. Um, my whole thing was like, "Well, I kind of, I mean, refine it a little bit, shape it up, and I don't mind it. I like the 2D art style as long as it's not that stupid, uh, you know." It's animated, but then all the vehicles or the buildings are like CGI 3D and. Like that just looks awkward. Almost, it's almost like a a drawn 3D of that Rescue Bots uh, did. Mm-hmm. Which didn't look awful, but it doesn't look appealing. I hope they don't move me, like the Rescue Bots. Oh, that would no, that'd be awful. That would be awful. Mm-hmm. So, it, oh, I'd be so mad. Yeah. Like, I doubt they will. Because the rescue bots, I mean, you could say they move like that. Anger. <laughs> you could say they move like that because the mo- the toys move just like that and they sell the toys. <laughs> they just fucking Why? roll around. Why would you use that? I don't care. It's pretty funny. Wait, 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 wait. Alright, um... So we almost we we finally made it one ep- one episode last week without talking about a trailer. Yeah. But now we got to talk about one this week. All right. It's a new one. It's uh it's it's got a lot of people talking about it cuz they made some interesting changes. You want to know what it has me? Yeah. Optimistic. Me too. Cuz for a while there I was pretty hopeless about this. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. all right. So it looks like they're they're. We're talking about we're talking about Ninja Turtles. Mm-hmm. Teenage mutant Ninja Turtles, not alien turtles. They're mutant turtles from Nickelodeon movies and producer Michael Bay. Ruiner of childhoods. <laughs> now this is for for every intensive purpose. Uh, a teaser, even though like it's a pretty long teaser, but there's not really a whole lot here. It's only a minute and a half. Mm-hmm. And we don't really see the turtles till like the very, very end. It almost seems like a Transformers trailer at first. Yeah, because just like built. Yeah, because buildings are falling apart. And uh, music. There's these weird things. Yeah, the music. There's like, oh, those bad guys. Uh, that one. Uh, Megan Fox. Uh, it was totally a Transformers teaser. That, w- that one dude that everyone knows, but I forget his name, William something, who's talking throughout most of the trailer. Yeah. Uh, he's apparently Shredder. Really? Yeah. Because huh. you see him looking at the Shredder armor. I would have. Well, I mean, I guess. I like that idea. I like him. I don't know his name, but I like him. Yeah, <laughs> I remember his face, and I but like what his I'm, face does in movies. That's the one part I'm kind of disappointed in because I I like the Iroko Saki Shredder. Like, I don't uh, mind the change, but I see I see why you would. Like it's totally a, yeah. Because I'm thing. a huge fan of the original of the like the original comics uh, Shredder or of the uh, Turtles uh-huh. where. Uh, Oroko Saki, or is that Oroko Saki? Mato Yoshi, Ma- uh, Mato Yoshi was Splinter's uh, master. Yeah. Um, where they were um, rivals, and they weren't necessarily 
Like, both of them were out to kill each other for acts of revenge. And, um, they weren't really... It wasn't necessarily a clear line between, like, who was good and he was evil. They both had kind of, like, dark, twisted ways. I was kind of hoping that they would go for, like, the more... Uh... More of a... Darker origin of, uh... Splinter and Shredder. Which, I was kind of disappointed we didn't see Sh uh, Splinter in this. Is he confirmed to even be in it? No. Yeah, well, in the the way they they describe the origins of the turtles, they might he might not even be in it. That would make me sad. Splinter was always my favorite character from the turtles, especially from the. Uh, but some sometimes he was handled so shitty. I don't think uh, Splinter was hand is handled that great in the new uh, Nickelodeon cartoon. He's, yeah. I don't like him that much, but my favorite Splinter has always been from the nineteen ninety movie. Yeah, 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 that's what I was about to say, too. I still think that that is really... It still even holds up till today. Like, it's a great, great movie. It, has, it takes a lot of uh, story elements from the uh, from the comics. Even certain how, uh, certain characters die in fight scenes. And just whole uh, like parts of the story are taken directly out of the uh, original comics. But anyway, let's talk about this new movie. So, like, it was kind of revealed that... Uh, the guy who plays Shredder is like talking about like using the mutagen to create heroes, maybe, or that's yeah. what uh, and that's what April O'Neil's father was doing too, mm -hmm. which is interesting, Miss O'Neil. <laughs> um, and then talking, bang, bang, explosion, um, and then we see the turtles pop up. Oh God! Yep. Leonardo looks like a badass. Very stoic from what mm -hmm. we've seen. They're flipping around, going down that snow hill like the G.I. Joe from Rise of Cobra. There's just, when they're just like... It, the impression I always get from the first G.I. Joe movies from the first trailer I saw was they're just like hopping around like frogs in slow motion. And that's what they're kind of doing in the, in this uh, trailer. They're just kind of like slowing, sliding down this hill, just flipping around, like doing silly stuff. Well, I mean, the scene is only like eight seconds, and they just he just he. I mean, what they do is kind of cool. I think uh, what I got is Donnie like throws Raphael. Yeah. Like he grabs onto the bow staff, he throws him, and we have to hear what uh, we got to hear what Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo sound like as well. Yeah. And I kind of like the voices. I really like Raphael's a lot. I couldn't pinpoint which one was Don's or Raphael's. Uh, Raphael, well, I can pinpoint Raphael's because he calls him Donnie. Oh, does he? Yeah. Okay. I just really watched it, like, the last part, like, over and over again. I really did only watch that, like, snow part one one time. Mm hmm And then we get a close-up of, uh, Leonardo just landing on a rooftop looking pretty badass. And then, uh, Michelangelo comes up from behind... Uh, April O'Neil. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, Michael Angel just wanted to fuck with her and say like, you know, this is a mask that he's wearing. But then he like he's like, reveals his joke is like, hey, here's my real mask. Uh, and then she faints all dramatically. I actually no, I actually like the idea. That's not what I got from that. I got that's the fact what I got. I think it was like fucking with her and just like pranked her. Well, I, I what I got from that is like he's just like no look see like I'm not a bandit like it's just it's just an eye mask see like look but, I have a face and he doesn't really realize that his face isn't normal. Michael Andrew looks pretty fucking ugly. Yeah, they all do. <laughs> I mean, like really ugly. I like how they look in movement, but I do not like like I don't need to own toys of those designs. I think I will. So somewhere someone posted a picture of all four of the turtles in toy form, mm -hmm. and they look pretty cool. Depends. I know the Shredder toy looks like crap. I did not see the Shredder toy. Shredder toy's funny looking. Show me. Uh, let me try and find it. Okay. Because you know how the uh, you know how the design. Did you see the actual concept design of Shredder? Yeah. You know how he's like all knives. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, he's a toy, so. <laughs> You see how that where that went. Mm -hmm. Ninja Turtles Shredder figure Toy Fair. 
Hmm. Damn it. All I'm getting is the new show, Shredder. Just give me a few minutes. You can keep going. I'll try and find it. I'll wait. Uh, fine. Oh, I'm just gonna be sitting here going, no, no. I think I found Raphael. Like the toy or? Yeah. Looks like a higher priced one. In this image. Um. Wait, hold on. I'm thinking I'm close. Oh. Maybe? No. No, I'm not. No, all I found is a picture of the actual design. Damn it! Oh, well, I'm sure they'll pop up soon. You would think. <laughs> anyway, awkward silence. <laughs> are we just stalling? Are. Huh? What the hell are these? I don't, I don't even know. What are they? What is it? What? Justin, what did you find? What are these? I don't know. Like, they just say Ninja Turtles. And they look like they could be newer designs, but this image, I think, came back in August. Was it uh, released in August? Was it? Yeah. At least that's what... No. No, no. There's no way. And this came yeah. out in August, I would think. Uh, yeah. This has a. Uh, I miss where this is. Like, you know, cop like how web pages like say, like, when an article is released. Yeah. I miss where that. It was saying that the Turtles movie is coming out on August 8th. August um, 8th this year. Well, the picture we're looking at is not a rare picture. It's a picture of, um, like, the 12 inch Turtle designs in toy packaging. And like the uh, the party wagon, they're saying that the, they, they're, that that wagon, that van is not going to be in the movie. Yeah, because that's a lot of people like suppose like had a problem like saying like if there's going to be like a a Batmobile version of the turtle van, they said no, no. <laughs> and uh, in an interview. Um, with the screenwriter, someone asked if there's going to be a warthog or uh, what? If there's going to be a what the fuck are they? Warthog and what? Like a rhino? Rhino, yeah, rhino. That's right. If there's going to be a war warthog or rhino in the movie, mm -hmm. and the the screenwriter just kind of smiled and just kind of like made it like a hmm face. So that fucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because he knows someone, that means, because exactly what that face is, is, oh uh, shit, I got caught. Yeah. <laughs> unless it, unless it's like for a sequel or something, because this movie already has Shredder, but. Now, th 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 I'm, a, I'm pretty optimistic about this movie, because, like, I mean, if they're going to try to make a whole, like, universe about this movie, like, surrounding this movie, like, there's a is lot. The plan? There's, there's a lot that they could do, like, Dimension X, uh, fucking Krangs, um. Uh, they want. They won't, don't want to do Krangs. They want to do. Well, I guess they want. Interesting because like the Krangs and how they're portrayed in the new cartoon are more accurate mm -hmm. to how they are in the cartoon and the not cartoon. Uh, the original comic. Mm -hmm. They weren't. They were more like a. A symbiote alien race that just like had little robots. Um, you know they could do the Triceratons. There's a lot of stuff they could do. If they want to build like a whole universe around uh, this movie. I'll be upset if they don't have fucking Splinter. I never thought about it. I didn't, didn't even think about it. That's a possibility that Splinter could not even be in the movie. There's a picture it's literally like having, I it's just like, found. It's like, it's like starting a Transformers franchise uh, movie franchise without Transformers. That's about as do, do, do. Yeah, yeah, he's Splinter. Splinter will be portrayed by actor Danny Woodburn. No, I don't know who that is. He's a dwarf. You you know who that is. If you've seen him before, he was on Seinfeld. Uh, 
Keep going. <laughs> he, I think he normally has a beard. Oh, now I know. <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Danny Wood Burn. Google image search. Yeah. There's. A, I found a picture of Michael Bay. And it says, I'm Michael Bay, and I'm going to fuck your childhood right in the face. <laughs> and I don't exactly agree with that statement, but I thought it was funny. And everyone's calling this Bay Turtles, I saw, and he's just a producer. He's not even, like... They might as well call, like, if they're going to do that, they might as well call, like, Bay, uh, Friday the 13th. Bay the 13th, uh, Texas Chainsaw Bay. Well, and, and, uh... He just, like, it's Nickelodeon movies, so it can't get as, I wouldn't think it can get as graphic as the Transformers movies. Not even with violence. I mean, like, with boobs and, and Megan Fox. Like, <laughs> there's, they specifically hired someone to be on this, like, alright, Megan Fox, make it less slutty. Less slutty. Alright, Megan Fox, here's a coat, put it on. <laughs> less slutty, Megan. God damn it, cut. They had a, they had a. They had to hire a dad for her. Like, you're not stepping out of the house in that. You're not my real dad. And, yeah. I want to see the behind the scenes for that movie. I like this. I like this reality a lot more than what actually happened. Uh, I have no idea who that guy is, but okay. I, I, th he was, I think he might have been only known for Seinfeld. Yeah, well, that's a so show I like, saw maybe an episode of. Really? Yeah, all I know is the theme song. What theme song? Seinfeld? Yeah. The little, uh... Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You can't really call it the same song. It's more like a jingle. Well, whatever. <laughs> He's in Jingle All the Way. Who is he in that? One of the evil elves. Ah. That's discriminatory. Yeah. Uh, he was in Death to Smoochie. Oh, That's yeah, he was episode. in Watchmen, too. That's right. Who was he in Watchmen? He was the... When Rorschach was in prison... Uh, oh, okay. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Now now you got one. There you go. <laughs> now I know the guy. That's a messed up scene in Watchmen. <laughs> yeah. That's a really messed up scene. But I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to reread Watchmen now. Shit. Damn it. Alright. Uh, I, like I like the voice of Michelangelo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like the voice of Michelangelo because he's not too, like, frat boyish. Yeah. I, I I think the voice of Raphael has to be a returning voice because it sounds very Raphael. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're all portrayed by the stunt actors who, who are playing them. And those stunt actors look funny. I would have seen the yeah, scene so where they loaded them on a truck and then they, like, opened the door like, what are we doing here? And they pushed all the st stunt actors off a of snowy hill. <laughs> I like the idea that that actually uh -huh. happened, too. Knowing it I, didn't. I, I lost a lot of enthusiasm for the turtles back when the pictures were released of the stunt actors that, like dressed up as turtles. Just, and they all just look so fucking depressed. Yeah, they look so mad that they're in public looking like that. Yeah. He's like, so here we are. We're turtles today. And uh, Sweet, I got the part of Raphael. Four weeks later. Aw. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Not what I imagined. Okay, we see who's playing Raphael. Uh, some dude named Alan Rickson. I was gonna say Alec, like Alec Rickman. I was like, you mean Alan Rickman? Like he was uh, okay. Do, do, do. Has he played Raphael before? No. No. Oh. Uh, well, then get on him. The Hunger Games catching fire. Who do you play in that? Gloss. Uh, don't remember that character. I don't either. Uh. He was in Justice League: The New Frontier. He played Aquaman. Oh, oh yeah. Give him an Oscar. He was. In, oh, he played Aquaman in Smallville too. That's funny. Poor guy. Michelangelo is played by Noah Fisher, who was in. Oh, he was in Twilight: uh, Breaking Dawn Part Two. Vladimir. Do you know who I that is? <laughs> I never saw any of those movies. 
guess what? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I saw I saw the first one on cable. I saw all of them. Yeah, your life sucks. I was I was made to watch half of them. The first one I watched willingly, and it was hilarious. Yeah, so, I was really mad because the whole movie had like this really bad Instagram filter put in front of yes, it, the it entire terrible. movie. It was terrible. I was like, this is not realistic. <laughs> it I really loved, upset I me. The scene. I'm not sure if you know this, but where uh, fucking uh, Fish Face was, like, eating breakfast with her father. And, like, she's, like, pretending like she's putting ketchup on her breakfast. And she's, like, just half-ass attempting, like, shake the ketchup. Do you remember this at all? No, but keep going. It looked horrible. Like, she barely, like, I don't even know, like... Mm, I gotta define this for, for you. If she doesn't, like, if she didn't want to actually eat ketchup... On her breakfast, uh, in one of the most recent episodes of The Walking Dead, remember when it was Daryl and Beth's episode, and they like skinned a snake, mm-hmm. and they ate it. They didn't. Act, they weren't actually eating snake. They were eating eel. And Norman Reed said it was so disgusting. But you can see that's like a three-minute scene of him just eating. Uh huh. And he didn't. Made that snake look delicious. Yeah, that was it. Was an eel? He said it was gross. Yeah. So if you don't like ketchup, get out of America. Uh, I don't want your communism here. Um, I had something to say about that stupid film series. Oh, I like how the person who hates it the most is the guy who played the vampire, Robert Pattinson. He hates it. He he has nothing. He doesn't care. Like, everyone asks him about it. He's like, yeah, whatever. They asked, like, he was in some interview. I think there's always a picture set of this going around on Tumblr. And they asked him, like, well, what's your, uh, what's your uh, most likable aspect to, to Edward Cullen? And he's like, uh, I look a bit like him. And that was it. <laughs> yeah, I look a bit like him. That's like what Martin Freeman said. Um, Martin Freeman plays Bobo Baggins, but he also plays John Watson on BBC Sherlock, and someone asked him in an interview, he says, uh, you know, you, you play both, uh, you know, Bobo Baggins and John Watson. You know, if, you know, are there, at, uh, are there any similarities between the two characters as you portray them? And he's like, and he addresses the the interview. He's like, "Well, I believe they're both played by the same actor." <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's sassy. <laughs> Fucking Megan Fox. I I don't have a problem with Megan Fox. As I did in Transformers. Well, I just don't like her. I think actually no. Yeah, yeah, I don't like her at all. Actually, I was thinking was like, well, what else did I see with her in it? She was and in I didn't movie, like any of she it. She was in a movie called Or. <laughs> it's like a documentary. Oh, she and she was a uh, her character was named Lost. Lost Horror. what? I don't know what. No. Yeah, <laughs> that reminds me just of the movie. I don't know why the movie uh, Rubber. Mm. No. With the tire. What the tire named Robert? There's a psychic tire who kills people. That's oh, weird. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm actually looking forward to the turtle movie now. Mm-hmm. It looks like it's being done well. I'm glad they're not aliens. Thank Jesus. Thank <laughs> everything that's all good in this universe that they're not aliens this time because I yeah. Uh, that that would have been terrible. But now they're part of a a project, part of a project to make heroes. Which um, the some an in interview the uh, screenwriter was approached. was like, you everyone knows how the turtles are made. Why would you want to go see a new movie if, if they're going to be if they're going to have the exact same origin? Mm-hmm. And they're just they're it's I mean it's going to look like they're going to have the same origin, but just doing more of a of a more uh, theatrical twist to it. Yeah, which I I don't have a problem with. I don't either. Like, uh, if there's anything I have wrong with the movie, like, so I think it's pointedly noted why like I don't hate a lot of remakes. It's because I don't mind seeing. I like the creativity of seeing an idea that you enjoyed enough to want to put your own spin on it. That's why I enjoy what went into the first Rob Zombie's Halloween, because um, mm-hmm. he 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 saw something that he wanted to you know tweak, and I don't mind that if you have a creative spin on it. Totally fine. Like, I love the first uh, Rob Zombie Halloween movie. 
I I did like the f the first one. I enjoyed the second one for all the wrong reasons. It's a movie. I'm like, yeah, you didn't like it. Well, it was pretty bad, but I enjoyed it for this, that, and that, and this because I'm that kind of person. Um, but like, and then those remakes that I enjoyed heavily enjoyed that everybody hated, and then the ones I hated, everybody likes. And the most pointed are the new Nightmare on Elm Street. Everybody just hates it. I'm indifferent about it. I I really really enjoyed it for what. I mean, it was a remake, I thought, that had actually a lot of thought put into it. Um, I liked the changes on his backstory. I liked it. I enjoyed the, the creative difference. And I actually liked the characters, unlike the new Friday the 13th, where I I hated it. Oh, God, I hated it so much. And everybody's like, well, it's okay. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's, it's really blatantly awful. It's like, there's like a ten-minute sex scene. Like, what? <laughs> Why? <laughs> And I think it's with the with the douchebag from the first Transformers movie. And they're both <laughs> named Trent. Yeah! Michael Bay, he fuck. I, I like, thought I was, I was the only one who noticed that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, they they're both had the exact same names in the movie. I was really mad, because after I started watching Supernatural, that Friday the 13th was on TV one day, and I'm watching, and I'm like, are you kidding me? No! And I got really upset, the fact that Jared Padalecki is in it, who plays Sam Winchester. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, so mad. Oh, I saw the movie in theaters with my dad years ago when I was younger. <laughs> Which one? It was Friday the 13th. Yeah. I, I, I think that I, was awkward. Saw, I saw it in theaters just for the Revenge of the Fallen trailer. I remember, I was so mad because <laughs> that was my reason. That was, okay, why well, I've horror movies. It wasn't my only reason. It was my only reason for going opening day. But then the trailer went online, and then I got into the theater, and we were already into the trailers, and I missed it. I was pissed. Oh, man. I was pissed. Oh, I was looking at, um, so at work, uh, I do the posters at work, and we have, we have this little sheet of, like, upcoming movie releases, mm -hmm. and, I mean, I'm sure the whole poster thing is new, but we have this sheet, and it helps us organize, you know, because we have a 90-day rule, essentially, for posters, and we have to keep up with what we get in, and how many we get, and what can go up where, and when, and why, and whatever. Um... It's just a process we have, and on the sheet it said in 2015, Paramount Pictures is coming out with Friday the 13th. Not two, it just says Friday the 13th. I didn't know about that. That's weird. That's the first I, I knew about that. And I don't know if that's information anywhere. I should check IMDb right now. And also, like, I got really pumped because it listed uh, Age of Ultron. And oh, they've still we didn't talk about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God, why? <laughs> <Ooh>. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Thoughts. So. So they started filming. They started filming. Avengers: mm. Age of Ultron. Ultron. And we got a, a slew of pictures of new designs. So from, do, do you have these pictures open? Do you have them near you? Because I, I do. Uh, I don't need to look at them. Okay. Well, did you see all of them? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Uh, the first picture we saw, or the first two, were for, in, in the actual costume designs of Aaron Taylor Johnson, Aaron Johnson Taylor, whatever, uh, hyphen, uh, as Quicksilver, and uh, Elizabeth Olsen as Scarlet Witch. Yes. And the pictures, like, I'm sorry. I, oh, uh, oh, God, I think I'm almost positive it was Harrison, who, Harrison Carmack, who sends in questions. Uh -huh. uh, he showed something on Facebook, and uh, I gave him a hard time, and I actually think, like, I, I, I might have actually pissed him off. I don't think he knew that I was actually uh, messing with him, like, kidding. And, uh, we were post we were talking about it, just me and a bunch of my friends were talking about it. Like these set pictures when they leaked. They're not leaked, but whatever. And I'm like, Oh man, this God, I love this Quicksilver design, it's so much better than Pink Floyd, Game Boy Gadget wearing Evan Peters mm -hmm. from Days of Future Past. And he chimes in and says, Actually I prefer the Days of Future Past design what? and all I said all I said was your opinion is wrong. <laughs> 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 I didn't mean it. Actually I was just kidding, I swear. <laughs> but <laughs> That is a wrong opinion. That is the wrong opinion. Because I'm a dick. Yep, you are. I actually don't think that way, but I can't. Like, that's me not actually saying, like, I don't think there's a wrong opinion. But 
It's just me. That's how I'm expressing my opinion. I definitely prefer the Avengers design way more. Oh, I like it. And I like how he looks. Like, his hair is, like, more of a platinum blonde, almost. Not silver blue. Well, then I think I think, I think think his his defense, and it was like, well, the beard just does not work on that. Uh, the facial hair does not work on that Quicksilver. I'm like, okay, and nothing works on the Evan Peters Quicksilver. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I'll go with facial hair before I go with, like, silver wig wearing headphones, goggle wearing pink fully t-shirt, Game Boy gadget wearing American Horror Story leather, twit. Leather jacket. Silver leather jacket? It's not even leather. I bet it's, like, pleather. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's plastic. I, yeah, plastic. I bet it's like shard. I bet it's like a Ziploc bag. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm really digging uh, Scarlet Witch. I like her a lot. Mm -hmm. I was really upset because I I wish she had her head crest. Yeah. I'm, but after seeing it, I'm like, all right, okay. Or if they have a referential to it, I'll be okay. Because I don't know. The, I love. Because it's love. so silly. Just like hey, how they did. Have, have you ever seen have, a Joss Whedon movie? Have Hawkeye's uh, head crest. Mm. Okay, you're right. I see that. But still, I don't know. Speaking of Hawkeye, we saw pictures of Jeremy Renner back on set yep. as Hawkeye. That's awesome. And you know what? I I think I was a minority in this, and fine, I don't care. I got I saw pictures of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. I'm like, all right, that's awesome. What got me most pumped? We're seeing the pictures of Hawkeye on set. Two reasons. Was because, alright, like, I really like Hawkeye. I like Hawkeye as a character. I'm glad to see he's back in the movie as a part. Second thing is what was the realization of, wow, this isn't a different movie. They are making Avengers 2. He has the same outfit. He looks exactly the same. And I like that because he just... It just... I enjoyed it a lot more. Like, I didn't enjoy a lot more, but I enjoyed it a lot to see, uh, you know, him back on set. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say yes to you. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Did you see Ultron yes. on set? Okay. Um, <laughs> now, this now, is obviously not what he's going to look like in the movie. This is not what he's going <laughs> to look like in the movie. Like, I I maybe saw a person saying, is that really what he's going to look like? And everyone's like, what? No. Like... <laughs> No, there's CGI involved, and it's all right. But we get a good glimpse of like what his the head design is. Yeah, and, and he's man, he's I'm gonna be made of robotic muscle apparently. Cause like you get, like in some of the parts, like you, you see him side or back, you you see some of, like the, the design of whatever the guy the of the suit the guy is wearing. There's like looks like a robotic Hulk almost. So here's the thing. If they're doing that, if they're even referencing the Age of Ultron storyline, there's a bunch of little Ultrons that fly around. Oh, that's cute. When I saw this guy, I thought that's what he was. But then I realized, wait, he's the only guy on set in this suit. Unless they only made one. And I guess I'm trying to make myself believe that because I prefer the open mouth design of Ultron where he's like smiling maniacally. And that's, I mean, I know this does not matter in any way, shape, or form, but that's what, like, the A turned into in the teaser trailer. I know that does not matter. I know that's a stupid thing to say. But, that's the only thing. I kind of wish he had an open mouth. Unless his mouth opens. But that'll be weird, because I, I also kind of dig the emotionless. Mm -hmm. Ultron, but A. Eh, yeah. Uh, the other awesome thing and, is... And it's confirmed that, uh, so it's confirmed that Ultron is not going to be wearing a winter jacket. Yeah. I thought he's, that he's... I thought that was hilarious. Wait, they had to confirm that? No, I mean, I just think it's hilarious that Ultron... That, that, is that actually James Spader? No, no. They had a picture of him without the helmet. It's a young guy. I, I, d I really do like Hawkeye's new outfit in this movie, too. Wait, Hawkeye's... It's the same outfit, isn't it? No, he has, like, a long sleeves... I didn't see that one. No, all I saw was the no sleeves oh, picture didn't? on the first day. Oh, yeah, okay. no, look, show me now. Look, look, look at this shit. Oh, uh, what? Hawkeye has sleeves in Avengers: Age of Ultron. <laughs> look at Jeremy Renner's face. What? <laughs> oh, look at that jacket. He's so swag. Oh. 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We in, in this we see uh, the dude underneath the Ultron suit. Wait, look at that CGI dude. Who's that CGI dude supposed to be? Maybe Hulk. I don't know. I don't see. Because where's the CGI dude? Oh, I uh, see. He's Chitari. Chitari again? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be so mad. <laughs> Ultron summons the Chitari army to conquer the world. Hey, we've seen this before. Man! Ooh, Hawkeye! Oh, give me a new six-inch figure to buy, please! <laughs> oh, God. Please. Yeah. yeah. That oh, awesome. I love Hawkeye. He looks different. Oh! Oh! Oh, my favorite picture! <laughs> Oh, cool, huh? Oh, I'm so happy. He has a really cool coat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is so good. Who's he fighting? <laughs> He's fighting the wind. Did you see? Did you see the concept art with uh, with the Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, the Hulk, and Black Widow, and, and Hulkbuster armor? No, you had to send that to me later. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, the uh, Hulkbuster is concept art. Like, it's a picture of the Hulkbuster armor holding back the Hulk. Huh. And it says Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. Send that to that's, me later, okay. That's probably going to be in the movie. So sweet. Oh, man. Oh, new coat. All right, give me a new Marvel Legends. I'm good. All right. Say hi, Zach. Angry Birds, Wearing an Angry Birds shirt. Or... Hi, everybody. I'm wearing an Angry Birds shirt. <laughs> any of that. Yeah, but now you're really quiet, so I think you blew your microphone. <laughs> yeah, hold on. What are you just Because he practically had the microphone in his mouth. Better? There you go. Alright. Alright, All right. yeah, this is exciting. This got me really stoked for Avengers. We done? Uh, yeah, with the Avengers talk, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Oh, password cool. for this episode is long sleeves. Long sleeves. Um, do you, the reason we're not doing questions this week is just because Jesse's got to run. I need to get ready for the day. It's early. What are we gonna be doing next week? We're still gonna do questions. Send them to Primecast Q and A at gmail dot com. Primecast at gmail dot com. We'll get him. I swear. Just time crunching yeah, right now. Time crunching. We we apologize. Yeah. Uh, shit's about to go down. Uh oh. Yeah. Just literally. And metaphorically. Oh, you have to poo? No. Poo's involved. And diaper flinging, I guess. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your life sucks. <laughs> I point laughed at you. Uh. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash SSJAutobot. Instagram me, SSJAutobot. Click the subscribe button above this video to get all the new uh, all the later all the prime cast episodes now ish uh, uh, no I won't do that yes you will you can follow me on twitter at Anakin Fuck. Vader what what are you going on about the, the, oh, man. I guess we're going to talk about that next week what is it about the other other trailer the trailer we actually mentioned the the, the movie Oh God! Whatever. Yeah, we'll talk about next week. Whatever. <laughs> Fucking X Men. Yeah, I forgot X -Men. all it, about that. It was a better. It's a better trailer. Much better trailer. And yeah, I actually we enjoyed actually it. Know what it's about? Yeah, plot. Yeah. That plot. Not, we'll talk about not next just week. Faces looking sad. And just like that mid shot screen of Wolverine going ah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Did you that did it? you mention yours yet? Yeah, my Twitter's. Yeah, okay, you did. Yeah, okay. yeah, you were there. I was. Yeah. In in body only, I guess. Oh, that's sad. All right. Uh, until next week. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye, guys. Bye. One more.